Hi there, it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.etsy.com here with another vintage haul. This one's going to be a little bit different. I've um, been accumulating all these pieces of art that have come from everywhere. They've come from my garage, they've come from family members, or I've bought them. And um, I just have been putting off uh, listing them because they're not much fun to ship because they're so big. I, I do have some small ones here. Some of these I just received recently, so I haven't really um, had a chance to get them listed yet. But anyway, uh, it's all uh, prints, a little bit of original art, that, that kind of thing. And um, so, yeah, I'm just going to, I just got finished organizing it all, and I'm going to show it to you. And the first thing I want to show you is actually not for sale, because I'm keeping it, because I think it's too cute. I don't know, it's kind of ugly, really. But it's an original oil painting done by, obviously, an amateur artist. And it's very old. If you can look at the back, you can see how old it is. And we know it's old because it is in, it is in this photograph. You can see it right there. And this photograph reads on the back, Grace Wicks Row, age eight and a half months, 1900, from our home in Albany. And the baby in this picture is Grandma Grace, Rob's Grandma Grace, who is Sally's mother. <laughs> and she had this for a long time, but I love... What? Hey, hey, hey! Knock it off! Muffin! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, she's so bad. She does not pay any attention to me at all. Anyway, um, I, I, I think it's so cute to display these things together, so that's what I'm going to do. And then we have this, which is really ugly, but... It is Coppercraft Guild from the mid-century, and on the back you can see this is actually, it's a, big, it's a big hunk of copper that's been cast with this Grecian-looking woman, and um, somebody, I don't know who, I, I think it was acquired this way, but it, somebody painted it, so I don't know what to do with it because I think that's just really, really ugly. But if it were back to its original copper, it would be so nice. So maybe I can do something with it. Okay, and then we have these two original watercolor paintings. And these are by Leroy Cotton, or Cotton, painted in the 1970s. He died in, I believe, 2010 or 2011. Uh, wait, he died 2010. I wrote it down. He's a Montana artist, and um, he's known for doing these sort of mining landscapes. And I sold one of one of these uh, a while back, so now I've got more to sell. And. The one I sold, I sold for 38. It was very similar in size and composition to these. So I imagine I'll sell these for the same, I hope. This. Okay, so this painting, or etching, print, was done by artist Glow Sessions. She's a Connecticut artist. She died in 2011. And uh, this is called Beach People. And it's signed and numbered. And let's see, did I write down what I was going to sell for? $150. These will be free shipping also. So sometimes if the prices seem really high, it's because, well, they're really heavy. I have to ship them. <laughs> so, but they seem to be selling, you know, in, the, in that area of uh, her paint, her etchings. have this, which is an original, 
I know you can't hear my voice when I'm behind it. It's an original um, watercolor and probably a little bit of gouache also. Uh, I believe it's a Mexican scene and it's really, really beautiful, but the signature is covered up by the mat. Sorry, the signature is covered up by the mats down here and I have no idea who this is. But it's, got, it's really nicely framed. I don't want to rip it up just to see if I can figure out who the artist is. So, I don't know. It's really pretty. And this is an Ethiopian uh, nativity scene. Uh, artist unknown. The writing uh, is not translated. I don't know what it says. But you can find these online, Ethiopian nativity scene. It's very, very nicely framed. I think um, I remember seeing this in someone's house, either either Sally's, my mother-in-law's, or um, my sister-in-law's. I can't remember. But it's really neat. I like it. I wonder if I should keep it. It would go nice in this room with those gold. Okay. Now... Most of the rest of these are by two artists who are a couple named Carolyn and Frank Armington. And they were both prolific artists and for, oh, I'm going to sneeze because of all the dust. Mm. Um, Rob's grandmother had dozens of etchings from this person. I don't know why. I don't know if she was just a big fan or or she inherited them, or what the deal is. Um, I think both of the Armingtons died sometime in the 1930s, I think. They're from Canada, did I say that? And um, I've sold several already that I have gotten over the years, but um, I have a bunch more. Some of these have been living in the garage forever and ever. And they're really, they're really nice, but I just don't have room to display them, really. I ke I've kept a few of them. So, oh, this one's broken. Uh, the glass is broken. But I can fix that. Um, this is Carolyn Armington, and this one is called Notre Dame de Paris, number two. And I have been selling these, the larger ones, like in the neighborhood of two to three hundred dollars, and the smaller ones, much less, a hundred dollars, something like that. Um, this one is L'Arc du Triomphe, number two. This is also Carolyn. They're so nicely framed. Kathy's Gallery, Torrance, California, is where these were framed. Oh my gosh, the other cats decided to go nuts. So oh good. Okay, this one is Notre Dame de Paris et le Petit Coin. No, le Petit Coin. Oh, bridge. There's lots of cobwebs on these. I hope you can see them. I don't know, I can't see what I'm showing you exactly. Here's a very small Carolyn Armington. This one has a notation on the back done by Fingers. I think that's who did the framing. August 29th, 1975, Mrs. Priest. This would have been um, Rob's grandmother. They're really nice. This one is Lac de Triomphe, Saint Jean du Bois. Okay. These, you can see a definite difference in their styles. This is done by Frank Arrington.
I don't know if I sold any of his. I don't see titles on these. He liked horses and carriages. <laughs> A lot of these were done in the teens and twenties. It's another Frank. I can't read the title of it quite. That's pretty. Okay, we have this is um Pont Neuf Paris. Paris. Uh, this has the same notation on it about the framing. And this is the last Frank Arrington. Says the same thing. It says, yeah, same notation about the framing. This one, I like this one a lot because look at all the people, how active and lively it is. Reminds me of, you know, French Impressionist paintings, kind of. Uh, this was 1915, it's dated. Nice. Okay, one more thing. shown you these before, but it would have been a long time ago because I just, oh, it's got identification on it. Um, this is, I think they're Japanese, they're, I don't know if they're originals or not, but they're quite lovely and I remember when Sally gave me these, she said they were someone famous. It says AJ Di Rocco on the back. And I, I'm assuming that's maybe, I don't know, but it's the Four Seasons is what these paintings are. Yeah. One, another reason I haven't um, done any, well, I haven't listed these is because I didn't want to do the research. This is winter. The first one I showed you was spring. See what the back says, A.J. De Rocco. This one is um, summer, no, autumn. And this one is summer. They're so pretty. Framing looks like it might have been a mid-century job. Let me look a little closer at this. This appears to be an original painting. So I'll have to do some research and I'll get back to you on that. Then I have just a couple of plain picture frames. I have the glass and all the stuff, but it fell out. I'll have to put it back in. But anyway, I have three frames like this, two small ones, and then one's much larger, somewhat larger. This one, this is Interior Industries Corporation of Carson, California. So, I going to do it for the artwork. That's going to keep me busy for a while. So <laughs> I didn't go to the flea market on Sunday when I should have. So I'm having to kind of cast around for things to start listing. So got to get up going on those death piles, you know. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and if something here piques your interest and you'd like me to put it to the top of the list and get it listed, I can do that for you. Just let me know. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I do, um, I try to do one haul video and one weekly vlog. I do a haul video once a week. Yes. And, yeah, that's it. I'll see you soon. Bye.